In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the library and the store inside of LoopCloud 2.0. Right now we're looking at the library. These are all the samples that I've already purchased and are inside of my account on loopmasters.com. You can see that we're inside of the library because of the button right here, blue next to the search bar. If I wanna to go to the store, I just gotta click the store button. So here is the store. Now I wanna point out some things. All of the search features and browse and filtering systems are available in both the store and your library. And everything down here at the bottom of the program is available to manipulate the samples and loops inside of your library and the samples and loops inside of the store. And as you can imagine, that's very beneficial when you're looking for something specific that's going to help make your project everything it should be. If I click on any one of these sample packs on the home page, you'll get the full sample pack information. We got everything that's inside of it, 25 bass loops, guitar loops, and so forth. And I can buy the entire pack right here, and it shows me how much that will cost. Or I can actually get in and sample some of these loops by clicking, hitting the play button. Where there is hope, then there's a way we can all and it's actually been time stretched to 87 because that's the tempo of the DAW. As you can see here, I'm synced to Ableton Live and the project is at 87. So this was time stretched from 77 to 87. But if I wanna buy that, all I need to do is hit the shopping cart right here and it will be added to my library. Now to get back to the library, all you need to do is hit the library tab and I'm back inside of my library. So that's the difference between the library and the store inside of LoopCloud 2.0.